Hey, I'm Tabe. If you don't know me, I've got a few hundred hours on Raids, and I'm an Immortal 3 player who hovers around 200 R. I peaked 400 R, and I'm going for Radiant this act. Before anyone asks me, because it's my most frequently asked question, my sensitivity is 0.5 at 400 DPI. If you're a low elo player, a good rule of thumb is to just lower your sense if you're having trouble aiming, and you'll probably be better off with it. For the most part, a higher sense will technically have a higher skill ceiling, but I find it easier to be consistent on a lower sensitivity, which is why I play on it. When I first hit Immortal, I decided I was tired of Jet. I needed a change to an agent that could have more impact. So much impact that the agent could drag me to Immortal 3. That's when I ended with Raze. Raze is a movement based explosive duelist with the potential to hard carry in any match. In my opinion, she's an S tier agent whose only real competition is Jet. What makes Raze different is her ability to use utility to help her team, but also be very selfish, which is how you may have to play sometimes. Raze is technically my third most played agent, but with a few hundred hours on her, I'm very confident in my ability to help you improve. This upcoming act, I'm going to play her a ton and my matches will be streamed live at twitch.tv slash wavytape. I'll be live every day and I hope you'll join me there. If you want to ask me any questions, join my discord. It's free and you can always leave. Now when playing raids, you want to try and cause as much chaos with their utility as possible. This will usually be done with the use of all three of her abilities in conjunction. Her boomba, which I call Roomba, her blast packs, which I usually call satchels, and her paint shells, which most people usually just call her nade. Her first ability, boomba or Roomba, costs 300 credits and was recently nerfed in HP as well as how long it lasts. It's now fairly easy to break and although it's useful for clearing angles, this is going to be her weakest tool. This is because of how quickly players will shoot it, denying the value that it can usually get majority of the time. If it's not broken, then you can assume the space is clear unless it gets timing, which is rare, but it's a possibility nonetheless. The Roomba, when combined with the satchel, will bounce it up and make it travel forward, which actually makes it pretty hard to hit. I like to send this out in addition with other initiator utility as well as my own grenade to cause chaos as you're satcheling out. Raze's next ability are her satchels, and these are what she's known for. We've all been blast packed on by a raise with a shotgun, it's just another day of playing Valorant. However, besides using her satchels together quickly to take space, which I think pretty much everyone knows about by now, I'd like to talk about more advanced topics specific towards Raid's mastery. The first thing is, you don't have to use them to get as far as possible. The thing that's more important is speed. You want to try to get as fast as possible with these satchels to throw people off sometimes. This is important because if you blast pack into the sky into multiple people, you'll die. Or even if there's just one guy and he has decent aim, you'll still die. You can also just use one satchel to quickly peek an angle. This is usually called a satchel peek and it's done with people who are holding angles tight or with an op. Below, I'll link some players that are really good at this. One more useful tip, which most people don't realize, is her C4s deal more damage after being fully cooked. So when people use them to deal damage to someone who's stuck in an angle, you need to throw them and let them cook. If the player decided to fight, you can always detonate C4 early to mess up their movement, which will result in an easy kill regardless. Lastly, Raze's signature ability, which you get every round, is her nade. This is a projectile that's thrown, and if it lands directly on them, it will deal 55 damage as well as burst into 4 smaller fragments, which deal lethal damage. Raze's nade is her main stopping power on defense and is a great way to clear out angles as you and your team take a sight. I usually throw my nade to clear a specific angle that I don't want to deal with, and then I'll satchel in after putting down my Roomba. You need to spend some time in a custom game to understand how to properly throw your nade so you don't mess up in game. If I notice I'm messing up my nades in game, I'll take a few minutes after the match in a custom map to perfect it. As for her rocket, it's pretty self explanatory. It's a massive bazooka that freaking annihilates anything in its path. It's one of the most inconsistent piece of garbage ults in the entire game. However, the biggest piece of advice that I can give to you about the raise rocket is that you don't always have to double satchel in with it. Just pop it and try to get a kill and it's almost always worth it. Thank you so much for watching. The remainder of the video will be in-game examples on defense and attack. Enjoy.